come close and uh, get a feel of what we are about to feed you with at the moment. All right, we've uh, cut, uh, kicking off with the Big Brother Nigeria House. Yep, of course. Mm-hmm. It was quite dramatic. Erica Very. winning the head of house challenge. Mm-hmm. Yes, finally. Mm-hmm. It was time for her to make a choice. Yeah. It kind of forced her hand <laughs> to publicly review whose side she's on. And uh, the question is up for grabs. Did you think she made the right choice? Well, Erica winning head of house means she is immune from eviction and she had to pick a deputy um, extensively, you know, you know, extending rather that immunity um, branch to um, whoever she picks as deputy. So mm. she, um, of course, everyone was expecting, you know, between Liko and Kid Wire was an obvious choice. It had to be down to those two. Who, um, I mean, between the two, would she pick? Well, she picked Kid Wire mm. as the deputy, <laughs> thereby saving him from possible eviction. Yeah. So, what do you think about the choice? <laughs> Meanwhile, during her diary session, Nengi described Ozo as someone she could date if reconciliation with her boyfriend doesn't work. Now, this was after she had told Ozo that he was too peaceful for her and that she had no plans to be in a relationship with him until she becomes single. So, um, interesting, you know, uh, dynamics happening within the house mm. and uh, Leko being one of the uh, casualties. Mm. It was uh, quite sad to see him, you know, played out like that. Yeah, but I, I thought what happened was, uh, it's obvious I don't know. When I look at Lecon, I look at a street guy. Very street credibility. He's got that street vibe and everything. I do not think Lecon is genuinely expressing his desire for the lady. In my opinion, though. I think this is just his own strategy to hold on to the show to the very end. Because apparently he feels, you know, the more he feeds the, you know, uh, the world out there with the sentiments of the love he has for Erica, you know, the more the power keeps generating for him to keep staying and seeing if he could win the lady over. So from everything he's doing, I think the brother is really playing the game smart. I don't see him breaking after Erica, whatever. And uh, Erica picking Kid, I saw that coming because from the from the look of things, Erica vibes more with Kid mm-hmm. than Lacon. Mm-hmm. Lacon just comes with the vibes of come on, let's just have that. I think G-spot. the winner here is Kid Wire. Yeah, he is. He's the kid, kid, kid Wire is the one winning from everything. Here yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's not too much um, entangled. He's not emotionally invested in what's happening. Exactly. That's and it. It's playing to his advantage, <laughs> and he's making it seem like, look, Erica, it's your choice. Bad I didn't, list. I didn't influence you. <laughs> it is on you. If this backfires, it is on you. Yeah. You could tell between the conversation they had uh, yesterday when they were at the head of house lounge. You could tell that he was emotionally distancing himself from whatever was happening. Mm. And he even came out to say, look, I like Lekon. Mm. It's, not, it's not my fault that he likes you, but hey, I like him yeah. and I have no problems with him. Yeah. As long um, as, I mean, everything is straight up and not affecting the general vibe of the house. Mm-hmm. Everything is cool. Well, you good. could tell that this guy was trying to be strategic as well. Yeah. So I think that everyone should try and be strategic and I don't think Lekon being strategic enough. Okay. There comes a time where you have to um, make a break for whatever is happening it seems like a big distraction right now for him mm. look at dorothy she's playing it well mm. she's not hanging too much on to Ozo, Anybody, uh, you know even though she likes Ozo, but you could tell that she is still a person of her own without that Ozo love triangle on her neck absolutely but Lekos like without this thing what else are you doing mm-hmm. you're not winning the i mean any games you're not winning any you're just hanging about you know trying to you know get erica's attention i don't think it's good enough for someone that has such talent as Debbie, let me, by his Debbie, let me shock you what even pissed me off was Lekon had a chance in one of the games mm-hmm. there was this particular game they were playing mm-hmm. where they had to toss a ball mm-hmm. into uh glass cups mm-hmm. Lekon was using swag to play the game mm-hmm. like he was obviously you know ha- having this feeling that somebody's noticing me mm-hmm. i mean this was a game go all out i like that he's, he was I, sw- I, like that, ah! I like that people are telling him the truth but i mean he's up I to him was, for it's up to him for i mean up to him to decide what how he wants to play um, I mean, in the house because yesterday oh. craze and bright so outrightly told him look <laughs> look okay. guys you stand no chance man he said he wants to apply pressure pressure what <laughs> <laughs> it's <will> backfire <laughs>